Hello, there it is, Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new series that I'm making called Living with the Saints. All of us are called to be saints if we want to go to heaven, which means uh, you want to become a saint. In heaven, there are known saints, which are the canonized one, but there's also a lot of unknown saints there. And for us Catholics, sometimes we've been accused uh, by others that we worship the saints. Uh, but in reality, we do not. Uh, we only, uh, we, we, we reserve, uh, this worship and adoration for God alone. You know, for, for, for God, well, we offer our latria, which is a Greek word for adoration. Uh, for Mary, we offer up, uh, our hyperdulia, uh, hyper, which means highest, and dulia means, which means reverence, okay? Uh, for Saint Joseph, we offer our protodulia, which is first revered, and to all other saints, we offer up our dulia, which is our revered, okay? And the saints are there to really to intercede for us, uh, for our needs and, uh, you know, to help us become saints. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, in paragraph 956, it says, Being more closely united to Christ, those who dwell in heaven fix the whole church more firmly in holiness. They do not cease to intercede with the Father for us. St. Dominic, uh, before he died, uh, said this to his brothers, Do not weep, for I shall be more useful to you after my death, and I shall help you then more effectively than during my life. St. Therese of the Child Jesus said, uh, I want to spend my heaven in doing good on earth. Okay, so they're there really to, to, to really help us. Uh, Jesus also gave this private revelation to a Benedictine monk uh, in the book, Insinu Yesu. I highly recommend you to read that book. And he said this about the saints. He said this, I have charged so many of my saints to walk with you, to attend to your needs, to obtain for you the graces of repentance and illumination and union with me that my merciful heart so desires to give you. Some of these saints, though not all of them, are known to you. They have adopted you, some as a brother, others as a spiritual son. Uh, he's talking to a Benedictine monk. That's why he used the term brother and spiritual son. Their interest in, in all that you do and say and suffer is continuous, and they are attentive to you at every moment. Call upon my saints, ask for their help, walk in their company, invoke those whom I have made known to you, welcome those whom I will make known to you. One day you will be united with them, in me, in the glory of heaven, where my face will fill your soul with an ineffable joy, the same joy that is the delight of all my saints, and the reward of those who have sought my face on earth. Invoke those whom I have already brought into your life and remain open, for there are others whom I will, pres will present to you and to whom I will entrust you in the years to come." Okay, So, uh, beautiful, right? So, we, uh, we really ask for, uh, invoke for their help. Uh, that's why for me, uh, whenever I would say, be a living saint, uh, there's a poster there of uh, many saints. and uh, uh, And some people think that those are just random saints. No. Uh, I handpick those saints and, uh, uh, and I pray to them at every Mass that I celebrate. I was sharing that to my friend and my friend told me, maybe it's not you who handpick, uh, maybe it's not you who handpick them, but they handpick you, which, which could be, which could really be true, right? So I will be presenting, uh, these 16 saints, well, 13 saints and three blessed. See if you could, uh, uh, identify these saints. I'm sure some of them are familiar with you, but some are not. So I will be presenting one saint a week uh, for 16 weeks. And I won't be able to share a lot, you know, in, in, in a three to five minute short video. All I could say maybe is a little about their life, maybe some famous quotes, um, and also why I chose them. And also maybe uh, present to you like, some resources that you could read, like books, or movies so that you will be able to learn about their life. 
So think about your favorite saints. And I highly encourage you to read uh, the life of the saints, uh, one saint in a month. So in, in one year, you'll be able to, to uh, learn the lives of 12 saints. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. 